They're eating the pets. They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. They are eating the pets <laughs> in Springfield. <laughs> All right, we are here with Joy Behar on the best possible day. It's the post-debate day. There's a lot to talk about. Um, first of all, what do you think of our new studio here? This is uh, the you new mean podcast, the podcast studio. studio. Well, all the studios. I mean, we've been talking about it a lot. The podcast studio is a bit... Uh, it, it has all the charm of a Ramada Inn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is that me or the podcast that has all the charm of a Ramada Inn? The whole Inn? building. Well, so you're 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 the building. Where, the you building. ever see the movie The Poseidon Adventure, where the boat turns over? Yes. And then people have to swim on swim on Shelly Winter to yes. get out of the uh, the water. Yes. That's what this building reminds me of. Listen, you every are... time I come to work, I feel like singing. There's got to be a morning <laughs> after. <laughs> There. You were in the minority. Most people seem to be enjoying the new building. Oh, I think that's what they tell you. That's what they tell me. I'm enjoying the new building. Oh, look, I have no sense of direction except at Bloomingdale's. Yes. And so this building throws me for a loop. I don't know where I'm going, which direction. It we looks have the put same. signs up in every nook and cranny. I want more signs. You. More signs. The whole wall is going to be nothing but plastered signs telling Joy where to go. Just put my name on the signs. Yes, I will. I mean, or put footprints on the yes. uh, crumbs or something. Let me know where I'm going. You'll be fine. It's, we're the only ones here, which is what I think makes it a little bit more confusing. Yeah. But yeah, all right. But you're doing great. We're thrilled to have you here. We're in the podcast. You found your way to the podcast. I didn't find my way here. They took me here. You were led here against your will. It's like an old age home, and they have to like drag me around <laughs> from it. All right. Well, all right. Let's get started. We were all on text chains last night talking about the debate. Who were you texting with? And what's the juiciest thing people were saying? Who was I texting with? Yeah, who do you text with about the debate? What you weren't. Write, what do you like writing a book? Maybe this is kind of private, isn't it? Well, usually there's a host text chain which you. I wasn't on that one. No, I wasn't either. So I was wondering what who was, was going on. Who was on that? They were on it. No, they weren't on it. You no. weren't left out. You don't want the, the hosts are not going to text because they all they don't want the other hosts to, to steal their ideas. To steal their ideas. That's right. right. So I was on with uh, Robin, Todd, mm -hmm. Fran. These are our producers. And, our then, head, and my daughter. Stylist. My daughter. Yes. Who wrote to me that his weave is coming unraveled. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that's What else it. did you get out of it? That was it. All right. Did you, uh, do you, get, did you get nervous before you watched? No. I'm not on the sta a stage. Why would I be nervous? Well, just because it's important to the country in your mind. Uh, you know, I had every faith that she would pull it off. Because, you did. Well, he's so dumb. And he, he's so erratic and, and irrational and rambling. And like I said today, uh, he's not the same man he was 10 years ago or eight years ago. He's taken a drop. I was watching my wife. Could... I feel sorry for him almost. I really do. I felt sorry for Biden because he couldn't pull it off. And I feel sorry for Donald. Oh, wow. You're very empathetic. My wife, we're on camera now, I'm so when you make good. a face, everyone can see I'm it. too good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my wife was too nervous to watch. She couldn't, so yeah. she went to the other room, and I had to text her updates throughout while she was in the other room. Yeah, that was true of Susie, my friend Susie Essman. Yeah. She, she said, I can't watch it. It makes me too nervous. I find it fascinating, because my wife in particular is someone who's never shied away from an in-person confrontation of any kind, yeah. but on television, confrontations make her not want to watch. It's very it's weird. weird. It's weird, very right? Weird. Like she has no, she's much more confrontational than I am. She's but, so weird she must be a republican no <laughs> isn't that what they call republicans yeah, they're all now weird. they're all weird yeah, my wife is not weird well they She's are perfect. weird i mean look at the word fits this bill yes. the guy goes on television and says they're eating the pets so the eating the pets moment was they're eating the pets that is weird yeah they're eating the dogs they're eating, they're eating the, eating cats. the cats they're <laughs> eating the pets i couldn't believe it I really couldn't believe it. I don't know what anything. And the, was... and the minute she went after him on the rallies, he melted down. It, it's not the size thing again. God help me. There was one moment I don't remember what they were talking about, but the 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 moderators kept trying to move on to Afghanistan, which on paper is a huge win for him. That not conversation. Really. But he's I, the one who gave them the due date. I know, but from their talking points, you got to hope of the list of questions they're hoping for. They want to talk about that. Yeah. And rather than move on, like the moderators were trying to do, he yeah. was relitigating. I think it was the the crowd size or the debate performance yeah. or how boring his debates yeah. are. He just, you're right, he became kind of unglued during yeah, the Yeah, but that just shows you, as, as Christy said today, his deep, deep insecurities about him about him being a man. He has father issues, the guy. He needs to go into a shrink. Well, let, let's talk about Chris Christie because he was on to talk about the debate today. Your, your new boyfriend, someone you for a long time couldn't stand, <laughs> but now you and Chris Christie are thick as thieves. <laughs> The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yes. <laughs> it's very, I never thought I'd live on a, on a, in a day where 
Joy's favorite guest would be Chris Christie. Why? I mean, you know what? If Lindsey Graham turns around, I'll be friends with him. All right. I appreciate people who see the light. Yeah. Well, this is an incentive for people to turn around because you're a good time. That's I feel right. like, yeah. If you, if you want to be with the cool kids. Yeah, exactly. You, 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 don't, you don't support Donald Trump. No. All right. Well, you know, Christie was on and he talked about the debate from 2016. And he said that Trump had respect for Hillary Clinton that he doesn't have for, for Vice yeah. President Harris. Um, what do you make of that? You suggested it could be racism, it could be something else. What, what's your um, feeling for that? Well, no, I think that, well, I don't know about the respect part. Yeah, it's probably racist. I mean, he thinks she's stupid because she's not white. I mean, is it? I heard from right-leaning friends that they were surprised she was as sharp as she was. When? L this morning, and l last night, I was on a text chain, and people were watching. Who, Trump? N no, uh, oh. the vice president. I heard from friends on the right that oh, were saying- Oh, Ka Kamala. They, yes, that Kamala was so good last night that they were surprised by it because they believe they didn't know she was that smart and i wonder if that's well, because you know, they're the, watching the, it's, it's a thankless job to be the vice, the vice president. president that's what i was going to say and at one point he was like well she did nothing for four years and on the other hand it's like well the vice president didn't do anything he said that in another interview right right you know so which one is it he, right. he goes wherever he has to go he rambles he free associates mm -hmm. he needs to be lying on the couch in a shrink's office and just free associate because that's what he was doing last night right you know and but the the thing with Hillary is Hillary was a Secretary of State. Yes, that requires a certain diplomacy in your personality and a command of the issues. And a command of the issues. Kamala has a command of the issue, but she's a prosecutor. She has a different way of relating. Mm -hmm. That's why he was scared of her because he's scared of all prosecutors. Obviously, uh, if he was in the room with Jack Smith, he'd be trembling in his boots. Also, yeah, it was it was because he's because he's broken the law so many times now and gets away with it. They're eating the pets. They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. They are eating the pets in Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> if you need a title for your next book, I think they're eating the pets in Springfield is a good one. I think that's pretty good. That is good. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so. My dog, though, poor thing, was so scared. I, I mean, saw the photo. You I see mean, that picture of poor Bernie? Yes. He was like, they're eating the, the what? <laughs> I think we need a legal note. Nobody is eating the pets. I think we've we've ascertained that. My goodness. It's, no it's, one is eating the pets, okay, no, Donald? Nobody's eating the pets. Um, <laughs> now, oh, and then what about the handshake at the top? What did you think? Wow, that was good. That That's like, I'm the president and you're not. Yes. Is what that was, you know? I like when she said, uh, like, you know, something to the effect of, um, listen, I am not, Biden is not running against you. I am. Right. He didn't like that either. He wants to run. See, this is the psychosis. He's dying to run for Biden with against Biden because Biden looked bad in the last thing, right. and he's a little bit doddering, whatever. You know, it's it's really you know it's a sad thing because I know that Biden has a great record as president, and I know that he has a good brain and can think, but he really couldn't do the debate with this guy. He didn't know what was coming, whether he was coming or going with this guy. I, I will say, when you see how well the vice president did last night, it draws a stark contrast to how the president performed. He, he didn't debate. really know what to do. You know, listen, uh, Kamala has the two advantages, Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. She saw what both of them did in the last two elections. That's right. And, she, and the debates, rather. Mm -hmm. And she, she learned from that. And President Biden did well, I thought, in the 2020 debates. but uh, Yeah, but that was yeah. a while ago. I'm saying he took a drop. No, I think so. I think so. Um, now, the Harris campaign is well, already- What about that other thing? I have a, a um, not a plan. I have, what was a it? A concept of a plan. I have a concept of a plan. I want a t-shirt that says that. That's basically I have me every day at work. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing today? Well, I have a concept of a plan. It's never going to go the way I think it I is. I mean, and it's been how many years has he's been criticizing Obamacare? Oh, my God. All these years, and then she said, well, what's your plan? I have a concept of a plan. A and then he has the- to say, well, she she's done nothing as in the past four years. Right. What have you done? Even even Coulter, what's her name? Ann Coulter, Ann Coulter mm -hmm. who claims that I'm her friend. You know. Yes. Well, I've, if she I, turns, you will be apparently. I find yeah. her. She would be. Yeah. I find her very funny. She's like a comedian. I'll take anything she says seriously. Right. And we sort of get along on that level. Yes. But even she said he didn't build the wall. He didn't do anything. No. That he said he was going to do. No. Um, all right, so the, the Harris campaign has already requested a second debate, which they, people, they did last night. Why, they they, wanna, they buried the body already. What are they going to do, dig it up <laughs> dig and, it bury and bury it again? It again. <laughs> <laughs> do you think she should do it? Is it worth it to her, for her to do nah, it again? I don't think so. You think just take nah, the win and walk away? I think so. You yeah. won the Oscar, go home. Yeah. Rocky you know? too. Yeah, you wanna, yeah, but you know, Chris Christie during the break was giving me, you know, his ideas of he were running her campaign. Right. She needs to do all these rallies. She needs to do a, a town hall. No interviews. I said, what about on our show? 
I he didn't think she should even bother with that, but no, I no. agree. I disagree. I with disagree that. too. Because Hillary would have won if she had come on our show more often. She said pe- it herself. She said it herself because people did not see the grandmother, the great person that she is. They only see this kind of like wonky politician diplomat. Well, it's interesting. I mean, Hil- Hillary Clinton is somebody who I- I've gotten to work with a bunch of times. You know her personally very well. Yeah. But she, for a long time, was always better off camera than on when she was at our show yeah. and other places. She yeah. was relaxed. She was funny backstage. Now, post her political career, yeah. you see more of that in an interview than you did before. Yeah. So I wonder well, if she's more relaxed. She's more relaxed. I think there's fewer people in her ear telling her what, how she should be, how she should present herself. Chris Christie in the break also said that she she had the disadvantage of being compared to her husband, who was basically, and he didn't say this word, but I'm going to, the GOAT, mm-hmm. the greatest of all time. Mm-hmm. Bill Clinton had the whole package. He was a Rhodes Scholar who had a Southern accent from Arkansas who, who was a progressive candidate. Right. Perfect. Mm-hmm. That's what this country likes. Yeah. No, well, let's let's line them up. Let's get more. Yeah. Um, all right. So yesterday on the show, Rachel Maddow said Trump's erratic behavior is graded on a curve with the media. This is something you've been vocal about. Yeah. The right the right media and everyone else on the on the Republican side has been coming for you for saying that because they think it's ridiculous. I'm keeping them all working. You are. <laughs> you definitely are. There yeah. are, are definitely websites that are only in existence to write about Luckily, things you say. Luckily, I don't say. read any of this crap. No, that's my job. Yeah. But um, I think that... Uh, it's an interesting it's an interesting idea. So your feeling is that they give him a break or they just don't care what he says. Explain you know, it more. you know, if you were locked up in a room mm-hmm. for years, you yes. would eventually get used to the room. And I think that it's similar with him. It's a train wreck that we get that we're used to now. Oh, it's him again. Yep. And and the media does not allow for, you know, them to to basically go after him. So when, when if she ever or any Democrat ever said or did any of the things that he or his his vice so-called vice president, J.D. Vance, said, they would be all over it. Mm-hmm. But because he says it's something stupid, they just ignore it. Oh, it's him again. You're right. I mean, we talk. I don't about think it, that's but... fair or correct, but it is what it is. All right. So. Taylor Swift. Let's talk about important issues. Important yeah. issues here. Taylor Swift. I'm a Swifty. It's like a Spartacus. I'm a Swifty. Say it. Uh, I am a Swifty. I am a Swifty. I am a Swifty. I am a Swifty. I uh, so <laughs> last night after the debate, she yeah. endorsed Harrison Waltz. She did a, a great post uh, right. on Instagram to her 250 million followers. It was very well written too. She's an intelligent girl. She really is. Yeah. About a year ago on this podcast, you said that Taylor Swift could save the country. Uh, did I say that? You did. Do it's you funny how it? you remember all my bun mo's. Sure. Um, <laughs> I think that she can rally the troops now. She's going to get those young people to get off their tuchus and mm-hmm. go vote. Right. Because you know what? I feel like telling these young people, look, I'll be dead, okay? If, they, if When the climate is changing and changing, you have to deal with this. So, you know, you better get off your behind and do something. And she, of course, signed it a childless cat lady, which made me laugh. Very and good. It was pretty good. And... Yeah, I mean, they give you the ammunition, these two. <laughs> JD and Trump. I mean, they, they, they give it to you. All right. Well, speaking of... They're, uh, they're eating the pets. They're eating the pets. <laughs> they're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. <laughs> they are eating the pets in Springfield. <laughs> That's my favorite. Uh, all right. So... <laughs> Usher, speaking of giant yeah. stars, yeah, yeah. Usher was here today. Yeah, yeah, so we yeah. really, the show had everything today. Yeah. Um, he really commanded the table. Sarah is like uh, salivating over him. Uh, more than just Sarah. I think most of the table was. No, no. She in particular. Yeah. He, or as, as, as Sonny says, in particular. In particular. She in particular was all over Usher. But he was gazing into your eyes and kissed your cheek. I mean, also. I don't like, mind that. No, I, I enjoyed that. Did. Yeah. But no, she was more like verklempt over it. Yeah. 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 Alyssa got kind of. Uh, there too. I think she just did. She a, really? She gushed for a second. Um, <laughs> do you enjoy Usher? You know him back going back to Cuba. <laughs> I I ran into him in Cuba. Yeah. And I was like, oh look, it's Usher. Take a picture because you know when were we on the? Were you here in twenty? 20- I was at, Yeah, I was here. Yeah, because I yeah. know that you guys like we are in a visual medium, right? We are. Yeah. So when I can bring a picture, I I try to. I do like it, a picture. Yeah. I like that you took the time to. If you told me if you came back from Cuba and said, oh by the way, I hung out with Usher and didn't Without have a, a photo, yeah, that would have been bad. I would have been very upset. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, I did. Thank you. And it paid I, off. Yeah, but you know, in those days, Cuba, you could go to Cuba. I'm not even sure you can go there no, now. You no. can't. I like he said he was there to get cigars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good, and work with the Obamas. Um, now you did ask him about voting too, and he was a little bit uh, wary of, of, well, of directing people. It's it's a yeah. hard thing, I think. Why? I, because I mean, well, he said he's endorsed. Kamala, when you lose half your audience, you lose half your audience, and some people feel like it's you know 
you got to make your own decision and you figure out what you're going to do. I mean, you know, this is one of the way the reasons that it's good to not be a big fat star, okay? Mm -hmm. Because when you're not a big star, you can have your opinion, you can say what you want, and you don't care if you lose half your audience. Right. I mean, I just don't. I make enough money. I have right. enough of a good life that I don't have to compromise right. and worry about the half of the audience that loves Donald Trump. <laughs> so what? Who cares? Yeah. It's a good, so what? Who cares? Yeah, it's a Do good place to go be. Go ahead and vote It's for harder him. for people. It's up to you. You're, you're the one who's going to inherit the country. Yeah. But he was a great guest, and then uh, you got some uh, Usher Bucks uh, Yeah, what, were the, what are those? They're, well, you know, my grandson has a lot of collectibles yes. now because I bring stuff home to him. You're a good here. grandmother. Because I know from experience, right. look at you know my husband, his cu uncle mm -hmm. had a, a, a candy store. That means they had cards from baseball cards sure. that his mother threw out. Mm -hmm. You can't throw that stuff away. Right. Like I was, I'm doing what they call death cleaning right now in my yes. apartment, <laughs> and I'm writing about it also. It might be my next piece in air, air oh, mail. Sure. Uh, did you read my piece in Amazon about the about good. the senile the, yes, shrink? I did. I did you it. like it? I did. I thought it was very funny. Okay, it's not supposed to be that funny. Well, I thought it was funny. I mean, the was... woman was suffering from Alzheimer's. Well, you made it funny though. I can't help myself. <laughs> so I was death cleaning, and I might even you know have a yard sale at some point. Right. And so uh, well, I did last year. I gave all the money to the retreat. I think I'll do that again. Yeah. Because they need the money more than me. Um, and. Um, so in the death cleaning, I come across all these DVD packages. Yes. The best of uh, of uh, Seinfeld, the best of this, and right. all of these, all packaged. And I was going to sell them or give them away. But those will become collectibles, just like those LPs are. You're 100% right. And, and, and the baseball cards. And there's a thing now, because people think with Netflix and stuff like that, you don't need to have CDs. <laughs> yeah. But you own the CD. That other stuff can go away any time. It could go away. Right. So That's no matter true. what, you have the best of Seinfeld. Not that you're ever going to put it in a CD player, but it's valuable. <laughs> no, but I have, I have a lot of, like, Foil's War, which is on the BBC. Sure. Uh, BBC America, whatever that's I called. I have a big crate of those things, and my wife wants me to get rid of them. No, don't. Refuse. Don't. Yeah. Don't. Put them in the basement. You have a house. They're already in the basement, but yeah. <laughs> I have collectibles, too, from working in television yeah, for years yeah. and sports stuff and things like that. My basement's like a Planet Hollywood. Right. Um, that's you know. very, very respect. That's a lot of money Yeah, except there. everything's addressed to Brian, so it's not really worth anything. Everything? Most of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Because you never want to say to somebody, like, you know, leave your name, leave my name off it in case I want to sell it. Can't you Photoshop that out? No, I'll work on it. <laughs> I'll work on it. All right, we have a viewer question for you. I know you love a viewer question. I Let's do. listen. Hey there. This is Justin. The question for Joy. So I was asked as a part of a getting to know you game, this new guy I'm dating, um, you know, five people famous, um, either alive or not alive, who I would want at a dinner party. But I did want to let her know that she made my list. It was Joy Behar, AOC, Aretha Franklin, Harvey Milk, and Kesha. What would Joy's answer to that question be? Thank you so much. Bye. Kesha, I was not expecting. Kesha. It's, yeah, the yeah. pop star Kesha. Yeah. Um, five people I would want to have. Uh, Mel Brooks. Mm-hmm. Um, um, Sigmund Freud. Albert Einstein. Mm-hmm. They need to get along with each other. I think so, time. yeah. Uh, I might even throw Carl Jung in there so he and Freud oh, can wow. have a fight. Oh, wow, so we got a whole, yeah. So like a shrink session. He like It's like The View. I know. <laughs> Um, but Mel Brooks has got to be there too yeah. to make fun of all of them. Right, he's he's you at the view. This yeah. is good. Yeah, I, I would like Abraham Lincoln there because oh, I, I, you know, I dated him, so yeah. it'd be nice to that's, go over the, the years that I was with him. Um, is that five? That's five. Yeah. If you got anybody well, else? Oh man, throw wait in. a minute! I have yeah, to put some women. I don't need five. I need ten. Okay. Okay. Golda Meir. All right. Ingrid Bergman. Oh. Betty Davis. Yes. Um, I already have been had dinner with. I'm thinking of people I've never. I have, sure. I never will because half of them are dead. Um, uh, my favorite actress of all time is Ingrid Bergman. Oh, okay. my God, that woman. Beautiful. She was such a brilliant actress. Mm -hmm. um, and you know why the Oscars bother me? They never gave an Oscar to Cary Grant. That bugs me. All right. Well, you could talk about it at the dinner party. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So put him there, too. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. And right. that's, that's about it. I that's, think. that's a good list. I know. That's a good, great thinkers. And how will the great thinkers and the movie stars get along? Well, the, because yeah. these particular movie stars that I picked, yes. you know, they can, you, to be a good actor, you have to think. Right. You can't just spew the lines and not know what you're saying. Yeah. So these are intelligent actors. You can see Ingrid Bergman's intelligence when she acts. Do you like, do you, do you like attending or throwing a dinner party more? You do both, I know. Well, you know, there are people in the Hamptons that I go to their dinner parties. Yeah. And, like, I could sit in there. I went to one that Barbara Streisand was there. Right. You know? And um, a lot of important people. 
So a lot of billionaires. I've been so I went to a few dinner parties this summer mm-hmm. with billionaires. It's good, good place to be. And I and I don't know that they're billionaires. So I'm sitting next to them. I won't mention names. And I say, "Are you a billionaire?" <laughs> so um, and I ask that question because I'm a little bit loopy. Yeah. And and. Um, Ari, Ari, Ari Melba was there at the mm-hmm. dinner party, and he cannot believe that I said that. Yeah. He said, I can't believe you're asking people if they're billionaires. They say the answer. Yes. One of them said, well, I could be, but I'm in debt. Another one <laughs> said, yeah, sort of, yeah. And then one said, am I? How about six times over? There you go. All right, that's the one you want to hang out with. And that's the one who has a boat. Yes. And I said to him, you oh, know, I know who that is. <laughs> you know who that is. I said, can I get on the boat? He said, well, I don't know you. I said, well, you know me now. Right. Yeah, turn on the show at 11 o'clock. You'll know who I am. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, well, listen, I'd like to go to your dinner parties, basically. Mine I think are good. Got, yeah. Mine are good. But I always have games. Like, I have a, a, a party called the White Elephant Party. Yes. So this is kind of legendary. I've heard about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, that's a fun one. You know who comes to that one? David Zaslav comes to that party. Oh, that's a billionaire. He loves that party more than anybody at the party. <laughs> one year he got, this is a party where you're supposed to bring a wrapped gift of something you want to get rid of. Yes. And people fight for it. They want the gift. Right. And he one year got an, an Elvis Presley bathrobe. I never saw a happier man. <laughs> he was so happy. I think if you have that much money, maybe you don't think about what you want that much and you don't find the little he's a little I, I yeah. have He's a good friend of mine. I mean, I, I know that he's controversial because of his job, mm-hmm. but he is a great guy and he's and he's got good politics. Yeah, for those who don't know, he's he's the owner and he's running Warner Brothers. In, Not just Warner Brothers, CNN. Yes, yes that's part of Warner Brothers. Yeah. And, and and the whole thing, the yes. discovery, discovery, the whole thing. You name it, he's running yes. it. Yes, yes, a he's titan smart. of industry. Yeah, yes. he has a lovely marriage. He knows his, he's been married since high school or something. I'm a fan, I got yeah. no problem. All right. On that note, we're going to uh, say thank you to Joy for joining me today. Um, you can check our episode description for the number to our uh, to call or text us. And thank to see... you for that caller. Yeah, that was great. I love yeah. getting the calls. And I'm part of his dinner party. You're said? part of his dinner party. It was oh, pretty good. That's so nice. Yeah, yeah. I think you and Kesha would get along. And uh, to see how you can attend a live taping of Behind the Table next month at 92nd Street Y in New York. I'm excited about this. How do you feel about this? Uh, I've done many se- interviews there. Yes. I used to have a series called Funny People there. I interviewed right. Nathan Lane, George Carlin. I um, I interviewed uh, Francis Ford Coppola, even though he's not not that funny, but he's a genius. Yes. And other people. And I, I find that place to be really smart. They have like Yo-Yo Ma there and yeah. Uh, Isaac Stern and, and now they've like got that. Brian Tedder. This and now they is have very Brian exciting. Brian Tedder and Joy Payer. Yeah, kind of knocks the hell out of Darwin's theory, doesn't it? Um, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really good, and uh-huh. um, I'm excited about it. I'll need your help to make it entertaining for 500 people. I'll try. And uh, I'm, we got to figure out how to do this because this podcast is usually just one on one, but yeah. I want it to feel like this, but with five people. So we have well, to figure out how do, to do the that. interview and just focus the questions on. Right. individuals yes and then if we raise our hand it means we want to say something okay good How about that that sounds good it just feels like the others are going to just chime in constantly like they do on the show that's the problem <laughs> but we'll we'll figure it out it'll be good all right on that note i'll be back here tomorrow with sarah haynes oh and tomorrow on the show chelsea clinton sitting in she's gonna oh, that's uh, nice. be in for she's uh, a good girl she'll be in for sunny hostage yeah. so that'll be great so tune into that oh, look justin Tim- timberlake snags a plea deal in a dwi case this is from the hamptons yes Oh. Yes. Is he at your dinner parties? No. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs>